I'm MashMilk12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to a database in P, um, PHP PDO object orientated way um, using MySQL um, to connect so if I just load up um, this is just some of the pages if you don't know my structure or the structure I use basically it's I have a there's the main file or your files will go here then I have a folder called classes or directory called classes uh, in there we have a lot of classes what I would use um, and in this case we've got one called database um, if you want to really look up on how um, how I do most of this stuff then you can watch my introduction uh, classes video uh, which will just give you a guide the way I lay out things and do stuff and then you probably get more understanding of what's going on you know with the structure anyway so first of all what I'm going to do is actually just go come into the database now you can actually do um, just simply just put in the PDO um, say in here like this if we just put some PHP tags here uh, PHP you can just do something like um, new PDO you know etc and do it like this way but since this is an object orientated way of connecting to the database I'm going to do this within the database class and you'll see within future tutorials that um, this database class will get filled up uh, with more stuff as we go through more PDO so basically I'll be using the same files for all the tutorials unless we get something serious and um, I'll be starting from a new file um, anyway, so first thing we're going to do is create the class called database. Um, and then I'm just going to create a public function construct. Okay, and this is going to pass in some parameters um, which will allow us to connect to the database. So, first of all, we will need the host that we want to connect to, um, the username. The password and the database that we want. Um, so now we can start to create our new PDO object. Um, now the first part of this is a string, and it basically consists of um, the host and the database name. So, um, so first thing that it requires is what you want to connect to, what kind of database you want to connect to. So in this case we're going to connect to MySQL um, and if you put a colon and put host then this will allow us to um, equals and to put the host in so usually you could just do it like this so for example if we're on the local host um, it'll be like that but since we are dynamically putting this host in from the parameter here uh, basically what we can do is concatenate here um, the host onto there. Um, okay, and then we need to concatenate back onto the string to finish off. So we need the semicolon to end that host statement so we can put in the DB name. And that's basically the same as what we've just got up there to concatenate the um, database. Okay, now the rest is just in single parameters. So we just put a comma and username, comma. Password. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That will connect you to a database and you should be good to go. Um, so now what we could do is in index, if we just come up here and if we just require that database files so or classes forward slash database.php, check that's gone in, yes. Okay, then down here in the body, um, or whatever you want, you could do it up here. Um, just to save time and do up here so you're not having to connect down in your content but I'm just going to do it here um, so we're going to create the database now so new let me just create the database class we create an object from the database class um, and obviously this takes in the parameters so first of all um, it was the host which was this for my case the username is root I haven't got a password so I can leave that blank and the database um, that I have one in there called PDO um, 
um, we'll get into that database um, in the next tutorial. I'm going to show you how to retrieve things from the database. So, as, so that's pretty much it. You now connect to the database and you can do whatever you want using PDO. So if I just refresh the page, we should just see oh, undefined variable database. Class is line seven. Let's just have a quick check what this means. Okay, data base. There we go. So we should now get to no errors. There we go. Um, also, in future tutorials, I was showing you how to error handle some of these you didn't try and catch. Because, um, say, if we just put in, um, if we just get rid of this for now, and I just put in some random host that's you know doesn't exist, um, we should get something like. Oh, it's, that's what I mean, it's still trying to connect, there we go, and we get loads of these um, horrible messages and I'll be showing you how to control these using try and catch so we can basically just say something like host not found or whatever instead of getting the, this message. So basically that was just, that's just it really, that's simple, there's nothing to connect into a database really, it's just, uh, it's just basically this line here you need. Um, but however, I've just put it into a class, um, just to make it a bit more object orientated, um, and I think that should be it for this video. So I will see you next time where I'll be showing you how to retrieve um, data from database. It's probably just going to be just everything at the moment, but um, um, I'll see you next time.